Today I want to talk about my three favorite platforms to outsource work because I've got a lot of inquiries on where to go when you have something that you need to get done and which platform that you can use to to um, yeah to hire people. And the first thing I need I need to mention is that um, many people use these Philippine websites and other stuff to hire, for example, VAs. But I always basically always use one of, one of these three platforms. Maybe you get some cheaper guys somewhere else, but I really want to stick to them. I think I, I rather spend a little bit more and kind of know what I get instead of going on a website where I'm not entirely sure. But of course, this doesn't mean that there are that there are not other websites which also, which also have a lot of very, very good freelancers. So let's get started with Upwork, which was formerly Odesk, and now they've taken over Elance, and I think they're the biggest freelance platform in the world by now, and you can find freelancers of all kinds, as you can see, a sales and marketing, customer service, service agent, and virtual assistant. So if you need one, you can also get them here for quite cheap or more expensive ones web developers, all kind of stuff. And I've made really good experiences with with, uh, with Upwork, and I also use Upwork as a freelancer sometimes. So when I when I have time and when I, you know, just want to do some random work, I sometimes go there and bid on a few um, projects that were posted. And it's a really nice platform to find freelancers in all kind of in all kind of industries and topics. <clears throat> the second one is freelancer.com and this is the, the first platform that I that I was in that I posted project and sometimes worked myself. Um, they're also really, really big. 23 million um, users and more than 11 million jobs posted. <clears throat> and they basically offer also all kind of project all kind of, of different stuff. A little bit less I think than Upwork. But I'm not completely sure. But they're also very good. The good thing about freelancer is that you can post um, contests. So you can basically say, for example, I need a logo or I need a web design or something like this, and then people can really work on this thing, and they can they can post it on your contest. And you basically have the choice of, depending on how much or how big your budget is, to choose from five, ten, twenty, fifty, a hundred people and choose the best work for you. So this is very cool if you have, for example, 50 bucks to, to get a logo done. Instead of just going to one designer and saying, hey, I need a logo, you go there and post a contest. And you will get a lot of different entries and you pick the one that you like most. You don't even have to pick one if you, if you like none of them. And this is very nice and this is, in my opinion, one of the benefits of Freelancer compared to Upwork. And the third platform, I think all of you know them, is Fiverr. And this is basically, you can also find all kind of stuff here, but I personally only use, this, use them for very small work. So if I need a quick logo done that doesn't need to be too professional, I just go to Fiverr and pay someone five or 10 bucks or whatever to get this logo done. Or if I have to, if I need a banner that I cannot do myself, or you know, these kind of stuff where it's pretty simple work, where I don't want to spend that much and where I don't want to go through a screening process with a freelancer and tell him exactly what to do and then negotiate with him. Here I just go to a listing and say I need this and, and it's done. But as I said, I don't think that it's, that it's that great for too complex things because normally the quality on Fiverr com compared to people who really do this um, extensively on Upwork or Freelancer is not that good. So the people here are basically mass producers. They just have their listings and they get gigs and gigs and gigs and gigs and do this basically as a mass producer. And I think often the quality when it gets a little more complex in, in the work that you need to get done, then it's not that that good. So for example, here marketing is something I wouldn't do here. Any kind of business advice and programming. I mean, of course you can find really good people there and I sometimes also found people on Fiverr that I worked with later on outside the platform. Um, but yeah, you, you really have to be lucky or you really have to screen them to, to find the good ones because in general, I tend to, to not go there for more complex projects. So I hope these three platforms are um, platforms that sound interesting to you and that you may use in the future when you have any kind of work that needs to be done, whether it's marketing, designing, whatever. And yeah, let me know if, if you worked with one of, on one of these platforms before and if you have any questions, just 
post them in the comments and let me know and see you in the next video.